Hey everybody and welcome back to another Peacock Brothers tutorial. In today's video we're going to be teaching you how to transfer. So the transfers, they seem incredibly scary at first. The first one is always the scariest and sometimes even the thought of going for a transfer can seem daunting. But we're here to break it down into a few easy steps so that it's more manageable and easy for you guys to learn today. Now the key to doing any transfer is getting the right cut into it. I see a lot of people when they're first trying them edging very close and their board ends up clipping the rail. With any transfer what we want to make sure that we're doing is leaving plenty of space between your board and the rail when we take off. Now in order to do that there's a very easy way to line up for the transfer. When you're looking at the transfer you're going to want to go from the bottom corner up to the middle of the kicker you're taking off of. Now Look at these two examples for the features on the back straight. If we're trying to transfer on either of these, we're going to go from the bottom corner closest to the cable and then go all the way up to the middle of the kicker. That's going to leave us with plenty of space for your board to lift and not clip the nose and tail. That brings us on to the second point, how we're going to move the board when we take off. Now when coming in for the transfer, it's really important to just have the front hand on. If you remember this from the Rail Basics video, then you're going to be good. If you haven't yet watched that, make sure to check it out and get yourself up to speed with some Rail Basics. But as we're edging in towards the kicker, we want just the front hand on the handle. We're going to take that line from the bottom corner up to the middle, and then we're ready to pop. Now, when it comes to popping, it's two very clear movements which we need to do. When we pop, we're going to first lift the nose, then turn the board. A lot of people try to turn the board early to get onto the rail, but then you run the risk of clipping the nose and taking a taco on the rail. This is going to set you up in the perfect position to land on the rail. Now, we've got the pop, we've got the board position, what do we do next? A lot of people when they first transfer will just try and land on the rail, and that's okay. But we want to have a little bit more accuracy so that we can get the full pull and make it to the end of the rail. In order to do that, once we've popped, we still have the handle in our front hand, we're going to pop, lift and turn, and then we're going to try and plant one foot on the rail. Now let's say we're doing a hillside transfer. I would usually go to plant my back foot on the rail. So we pop, turn, and then catch the rail with the back foot. That just means simply placing your foot on the rail so that you know where you're going to land. And for the toe side transfer, it's exactly the same. Front hand on, nice and low on the approach. We follow the line, bottom corner to middle, pop. But then this time, rather than lifting the front foot, we're going to lift the back foot and then turn. As long as we lift the nose or tail first, then turn the board, there is going to be no reason for the board to clip the rail. It's only when we start to turn early that we can run into issues. I really hope that this has cleared up the transfer for you guys. They are actually a very easy trick, but just quite intimidating at first. With these few simple steps, you should be nailing transfers right away. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and we'll catch you in the next one.